Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday for Lychee Friday. And I got my maize and blue on. Uh, it's funny because every time I read this hail, I of course think of like the Michigan fight song and one of the words in the song is hail, right? So um, my kids are always like so embarrassed because I have to like break out into the fight song every once in a while, especially when we're watching basketball. Hey, Aaron, which that's why I'm wearing my t-shirt. I'm getting all ready for, we got a big ba game tonight playing Purdue at seven o'clock. Um, I think it's in Ann Arbor. Isn't that funny? I don't even know for sure. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We can't go to the game. So whatever, but I'm like totally looking forward to the game. So hey, Sharon. Hey, Pam. Glad you guys can join us. So yeah, hopefully you guys are all Michigan fans. We're going to be rooting for the maize and blue tonight. I'm super excited. Yeah, like I said, it's like the only thing I have to look forward to these days in the winter because there's nothing to do around here in Michigan right now except watch basketball. So yes, good morning, Miss Sharon. So sorry, the ranting, I'm done, I'm, it's over. <laughs> and the snow is done too. I was gonna complain about, no, I wasn't gonna complain about the snow because it's actually really pretty as it was falling and not like too crazy. So hey, Lori, so yay, I'm so glad everybody's popping on. So we've got, <clears throat> I'm already talking a mile a minute, as I feel like I have so many things I want to tell you. Hey, Philomena, um, tell you guys about. So first of all, we are going to be playing with, I kind of picked like two products of the week. I couldn't pick just one. So this week we are going to be playing with the Paper Blooms Designer Series Paper. So you can see, thank you for sharing, Philomena, all of the fun patterns. In. And then look at the lips. If you guys don't have the lip punch, you need the lip punch because it's so stinking cute, right? But So check out all those great patterns in the Paper Blooms Designer Series Paper. This is one of those items you can get for free with a $50 order right now during celebration, which goes now through February 28th, right? And then I also combined it with, because I think the, I don't know, there's something about like the patterns and colors that worked really well. It's great to see you too, Lori, um, with this Heal Your Heart stamp set. So we're going to be using this stamp set today as well. Great sentiments in here. We've got first, this one says, we're in this with the little together in the cursive writing. I totally have to turn this one around and I still can barely read it because it's small print, but it says, I can't promise to always fix your problems, but I can promise you won't ever face them alone, which that's awesome, right? Vina, it's great to see you. It's great to see you too. I love all these fun friends popping on. Susan, hello, thank you for sharing. It's good to be back too, guys. Um, what else we have? <clears throat> this is another great sentiment which unfortunately we need, the sorry for your loss. And then again, in very small print, I don't know what I would do without you. That's another great one, right? And then wishing I could heal your heart. That's of course why the stamp set is um, named that what it is. And that, that's a beautiful sentiment, right? And then the thank you. And um, you know, we always love the fonts, right? So we've got that beautiful cursive font on there too. So two great products. You can get this one free with a $50 order and you can get this package of paper free with a $50 order as well. This is just a little sampler. Um, we actually made these um, in our Inkspired Stampers team meeting. Um, so anybody in my downline could get the make and takes. This month we did um, these little samplers so that we could display all of the great patterns of designer series paper um, in the celebration brochure. So I'll show you, there's this one. I can't remember, honestly, if I've showed these or not. I don't think I have, but I'll show them to you guys real quick. So um, obviously this is the one we're gonna be playing with this week, but I'll show you the other others that we made too. We've got the, <clears throat> this is the Oso Ombre paper, which isn't that cool. I love like the little circly, it's, I don't know, it's almost like bubbles in water, right? Um, and then and then the lips again too with the little hearts. So the punch is a is a duo one. It has the lips and then the little baby heart on it too. So super fun little punch there also. Um, that is in the uh, mini catalog, like the January to June mini catalog, that punch. But this is another pack of the paper, the Oso Ombre. This is six by six designer series paper. Another pack that you can get for free with a $50 order during celebration. And then what else do we have? This one, the flower and field, we featured this a couple of weeks ago um, on Facebook Live, I think actually back in December, it feels like, that feels like forever ago, but look at all. Hey Lisa, thank you for joining us. I love doing this too, because then these are these little punches that tell you all of the coordinating colors that are in the designer series paper. They're also listed right up there too. So I love to put these out at my classes. So for example, um, <clears throat> last weekend we had a class and I made a card with the flower and field designer series paper. So obviously we only used, you know, one or maybe two of the patterns 
patterns of the paper so I could put the sampler on the table also and say hey if you like you know those couple of patterns in the card we've got all these other great um, patterns of paper in there as well so again another one of those that you can get free with a $50 order during celebration and then last we made the berry blessings sampler I know all these papers and honestly it's funny because most times the celebration paper I think is just okay especially when I first see it. Hey, Nancy, how are you? Thank you for sharing. Um, but you know, then I start to, it's like with anything, right? You start to play with that. Hey, Cindy, hello. Um, thank you for joining us today. Um, you know, it's something like once you start playing with it, you kind of like it grows on you is usually what happens for me with the celebration paper. This year is not the case. Hey, Debbie, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Um, this year, all of the paper like it's all I want to play with like I know there's paper in the end or in the um, well in the annual catalog too but in the new mini catalog the January to June mini but I can't stop playing with celebration stuff as maybe it's because we only have two months too so I'm like okay we still have March April May and June to play with the um, mini catalog stuff but I only get two months so I've been like playing with these things like crazy so anyway this is the last one from Central Pennsylvania thank you I'm so glad you can join us today Cindy I don't think I've seen your name pop up here before. So hopefully things are good in central Pennsylvania, um, as good as they can be right in the middle of winter. <laughs> okay, so let's see, Berry Blessings. This is another, this was the one we featured um, as our last product of the week, um, the fun cards that we made too. But I love all the patterns. And then again here, look at all of the colors, so many great colors. And then they're all listed right up here too. And that is always, always one of the best things about Stampin' Up! is their product and color coordination. So I love that obviously any of the colors that are in this paper, they tell us what they are. So you can pull those um, solid colors of cardstock or ink or ribbon or other embellishments and make super cute projects because everything coordinates so well so easily, right? So, oh, one thing to mention, this is the pack of paper that you also get the Berry Blessing stamp set with. So this paper and the stamp set are free with a $100 order, which is they haven't done that before. So that's something different. So, <clears throat> all right, so fun samplers, love to show you guys what we do with my team too because if you ever want to get the starter kit right now is the time to do that because you get all of this designer series paper so look you get five free packs of designer series paper in your starter kit 200 sheets of designer series paper and I think I opened this one up before but I have to we're just going to fan this out so these are the brights collection let's see if I can get this all kind of fanned out for us so this is, for example, ooh, ooh, that just almost fell out of my hand. <laughs> One of the packs of designer series paper that you can get for free. So these are all the brights, the patterns right there and right there. You get four more packs of these papers though. You see, you get the brights, the regals, the subtles, the neutrals, and then the 2020, 2022, that's hard to say, 2022 <laughs> in color designer series paper. So this is new paper that you can't get any other way besides the starter kit. We'll be able to order it in our next annual catalog. Um, I think that's, I keep saying that. I'm gonna have to check this, the math here. Maybe, actually, hold on. I can look at my annual catalog because that's gonna tell me, um, in oh, very small print, yeah. It goes through May 3. So our next annual catalog is going to come out on May 4. So it's earlier. I, I keep trying to kind of, because I know this is like our transition year. So anyway, you'll be able to get that paper at the beginning of May. But you might as well get it right now with your starter kit because you get all that paper for free. You get to pick $125 in product. You pay only $99 plus sales tax. I figured out it's over like 100 100 or 110 dollars that you save like if you were to buy 125 dollars in product and get those five packs of paper and pay the shipping and pay the sales tax i it's like 200 well if you pay 104.94 in michigan it's got to be like 215 or more dollars is what you would spend on all of that if you just put a regular order in so the starter kit deal is an amazing amazing deal over a hundred dollars free basically in the starter kit plus then you get to get 20 percent off of everything that you order after that and who doesn't love to get a deal right so if you have any questions let me know but then you become an inspired stamper if you get the starter kit through me or anybody in my team and then you can get the make and takes from me every single month for our team meeting even if you're long distance i mail them out to you um 
So you can always have cute, fun projects um, to make with us. And then we do a team meeting the third Tuesday of every month. I do that on Facebook Live. If you're not local and can't make it to the in-person meeting, we do it on Facebook Live also. So love to have you get that starter kit and become a part of our awesome stamping group. All right. Um, that was totally off tangent too. So now I have to like check my notes and try to get myself back on track. But I think it'll be all right. Yeah, it's, I know I was going to talk about it at some point, so I just threw, I don't know, somehow I got super duper excited. I guess maybe we were talking about paper. So anyway, okay, well, I will also tell you guys, today is the last day to sign up for the Happy Thoughts class to go. So obviously it's featuring this super awesome, really versatile stamp set that has <clears throat> great simple sentiments, the congrats, thank you, thinking of you, and happy birthday, right? So those are all great, simple sentiments. And then we've got, I kind of think of those maybe as you put on the outside of your card and then some more um, wordy sentiments for the inside of your card maybe. Um, I always, I struggle with sometimes what to write in a card. So I love having these kind of sentiments because they kind of help me, you know, say what I want to say without like, I don't know, I'm just not that good with words, I guess. So I love that these are sentiments that we can add to the inside of our card that really convey how we're feeling and what we want people to, you know, know that we're thinking about them. So, hey, Michelle, thank you for joining us. So anyway, yeah, so that happy thought stamp set today is the last day. These are the four cards you get to make. Oh, that's totally upside down. There we go. You get to make two of each of these. And these are the fun fold cards also, right? So there's one of them. Um, I'll try to get this one going. Get this one going the right way. Here's another. Happy birthday. And we've got, uh, there's barely room for a sentiment on the inside of that one. Amy Jo, hello. Thank you for joining us. We've got, this one is the thinking of you, I think it is, right? So we've got that one. Again, you make two of each of these. Um, <clears throat> Oh, <laughs> I did not have these ready to go, did I? Or I flipped them around on myself. But congratulations. Then we've got some fun on the inside there, too. So fun fold cards featuring the happy thoughts stamp set. Option number one is $52. It includes the stamp set. It includes um, a quarter of a pack of the Paper Balloons Designer Series paper. It includes a full bolt of the Seaside Spray Ribbon and those opal rounds. Um, plus the PDF tutorial, everything that tells you, you know, it tells you step by step how to put everything together. That option number one is $52. Option number two is if you already have the stamp set, the Happy Thought stamp set, you won't get that. And option number two, hey Dawn, thank you for joining us. Um, you still get the ribbon, um, the quarter pack of designer series paper and the opal rounds and the PDF tutorial. That option number two is $32. And actually back in option number one, the designer series paper is free to you when you pick option number one, okay? Um, if you need the kits shipped to either option number one or option number two, it's an additional $15 or excuse me, it's an additional $8 priority mail shipping, right? I was already on to option number three, which is the PDF tutorial, which you get for $15 from me anytime. Even after today, you can still order that PDF tutorial. I just had somebody order um, one of our older ones, like Tasteful Touches. I think I did that like last summer. So I still have all my PDF tutorials. I can get those sent out to you at any time. So those are always available. Basically, that just is the instructions that tell you how to um, put your cards together. You want to do everything on your own because you have everything. Maybe you're a demonstrator and you have everything, right? So I just tell you how to do it and um, give you pictures. Um, and I'm always available if you have any questions, right? So option number four is for anybody in my downline, any of my Inkspired stampers, they can get the make and takes, another great reason to get the starter kit through me or anybody in my downline. Basically anybody in my downline is considered an Inkspired stamper and you can all get these make and take kits for just $12. Hey Nikki, you get all the parts and pieces, you still need your own stamp set and your own ink to do your own stamping. Um, or you can get the PDF tutorial for free if you're a current Inkspired stamper as well. So let me know if you have any questions today. Today is the last day I'm going to be putting my last order in um, to get everything that we need so we can put those to-go kits together. They ship out, um, I think it's the Wednesday, February 3rd is the drop dead day that those will be shipping out. So Sherilyn, hello, welcome, and thank you for sharing the video. So, okay. <clears throat> <laughs> I feel like I always talk so fast, but I'm just so, I'm actually like so excited to be here. I think it's winter time, right? Actually, it is snowing again too. And it's really, really pretty. It's like this really, it's like a Hallmark movie <laughs> right now. That's what the snow looks like outside. So Kathy, hello and welcome. Um, 
with, okay, so we talked about that. Oh, I know. I have to show you guys the designer series paper shares. Um, oh, Sharon made the cards. Good. That's awesome. I'm glad you enjoyed them. She said they're beautiful. Thank you. Well, I mean, it's not me. Honestly, it's the Paper Blooms Designer Series paper. The fun folds are folds you can find right online. Um, and then it's the stamp set, that Heal Your Heart stamp set too. So, okay. Yeah. Great class to go. So love to get you signed up for that one. And I'm thinking I've got my wheels turning on what I'm going to be doing next. So I'll be sharing that with you guys shortly. But in the meantime, look at all of this paper. This is like the little, so you get a little sampler of some of the, um, what is that? The celebration paper. There's that huge glare on that paper. And then you get, it's not really fanning out very well, is it? Cause I have so much paper in my hands here. Look at, check this out. Right. Okay. So you get all of this paper for $41. Oops. I've got, oh, it's white on the back. So this paper is some of the, um, specialty paper. Yes, Miss Lori, you can definitely get the PDF. Will you email me, please? That'll be my reminder to actually do it because sometimes the comments, things get lost in the comments. So email me and I will definitely get that to you. Okay, but here, this is the designer series paper, right? Designer series paper share. So basically get <clears throat> a quarter of a pack of all of the paper in the um, January to June mini catalog. And then you also get a sampler of um, the celebration paper. Um, that I cut into six by six because I needed to make sure I had enough for everybody. And there's that dandy garden paper too. So anyway, for $41, you get all of this paper. So let me know. I have one left right here in my hand. They come in like batches or groups of four because I divide them up a quarter of a pack, right? So I've got one for sure. The first person to say they want it, it is yours. $41. It's $8. Excuse me. Priority mail shipping. Your Nikki, yours are on your way. I mailed them out this week. So hopefully, maybe even today you'll get it. I don't know. The mail has been so slow. Even, you know, since Christmas is over, it seems like it's still super slow. So I don't know. I guess they're just, they can't get caught up maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I've got one um, designer series paper share left. $41, $8 if you need it shipped to you. Um, if you want to come pick it up on the porch, it's just a straight $41. And I can always, if I get four more people, I can do another four. So let me know. I'd love to get this out to you because you guys, this paper is beautiful. Awesome. So much fun to have all of that to play with. Okay, let's see. What is next? I think we're gonna do a drawing now. Yeah, it looks like it's time to do a drawing. No, actually, I've got one more thing. We're gonna show you one more thing, because this is fun. No, we'll do the drawing and then I'll show you. You know, who cares, right? Okay, so <clears throat> what are we giving away this week? We are giving away the Meadow Moments embossing boulders so some of these these are the cute little ones that fit in your mini stamp and cut and emboss machine if you have not gotten one yet you probably better get yours handy when you're um, on the go uh, traveling right okay so this is what we're going to give away today how how do you get your name in the drawing most people know right if you share the video your name is in this little bin right here or if you have not signed up for my email list and you do that, I always give you the link at the top of this video after I upload it to Facebook. Um, there's always a link in there to join my email list. So just click on that. You also get a PDF tutorial for free too for signing up for my email list. And then your name is in here. And this week you could win that super cute Meadow Moments embossing folder. So, all right. Hail! <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like reading. I know it's totally backwards, but you guys can read it, right? It's easy enough to read backwards. Yeah, my kids, I start breaking out on that. And actually, even my dogs are like, what is she doing? <laughs> She's not going to sing that fight song, is she? And I will not. I will not do that for you. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> That's later at night, maybe after a beer, <laughs> that that song gets broken out. Okay, hold on. I got a bunch of these. Um, I gotta shake them up because there was like a stack of them all together. Okay, so here we go. We have one name in my hand, Miss Philomena. All right, congratulations and thank you for sharing Philomena. And I know you've already shared this week's video too. So her name will be going in the drawing to win. Oh, let me get rid of those so I can be ready for the next drawing. Um, next Facebook Live, we will be giving away <clears throat> These are the fun little resin hearts. Love these cute little, so they've got some little white 
hearts and um, kind of a real red. You're welcome, Miss Philomena. So this is what we'll give away on next Facebook Live. Either share the video or sign up for my email list, right? Share the video, that's easy. You can do that anytime. Um, and then sign up for my email list. That link is right at the top of this video, okay? So we'll be giving that away on next Facebook Live. All right, so um, a couple things. You guys are always so sweet with your congratulations. Um, <clears throat> I have to welcome, we have a couple of new Inkspired stampers, a couple of awesome ladies bought the starter kit, got all that free designer series paper. Um, so I want to welcome, um, now all of a sudden I'm blanking out, Tammy Mitchell and Penny Cox both got the starter kit. Hello, Carol. I think I saw other names popping up in there and then I, there's like pressure, you know, to try to remember everything and I'm not good, <laughs> not very good under pressure. So yeah, so welcome to Tammy Mitchell and Penny Cox. They both got the starter kit. So happy to have them as a part of our, our Inkspired Stampers group and so happy that they got that great deal. And they both already put their first order in. That's the other thing too. You guys know this, right? As demonstrators, we get all the same benefits that customers do. So not only do we get a 20% discount on everything that we order, but we get all the celebration benefits too. And even for celebration, we get them earlier than everybody. We could get celebration stuff back in December as demonstrators, um, which again, demonstrator, basically you just get the starter kit become a new team member on our Inkspired Stampers team and use your discount to buy stuff and get free celebration stuff right now too. So the sooner that you get your starter kit, then the sooner you can start reaping all the rewards through Stampin' Up um, with celebration also. So, um, okay, what are we doing now? Oh, now I'm gonna show you. So a couple of um, swap cards that some of our other Inkspired Stampers made, and I see Sharon's name popping up there. She's saying welcome to our new Inkspired Stamper. So I'm gonna show Sharon's swap card first. This is such a pretty one, and I love, Sharon, you're gonna to have to tell us how you made this at some point. I'm sure there's, can you even see? It's like, um, what do I wanna say? It's kind of folded. Uh, what, what's the, wow. I can't think of the word I wanna use right now, but anyway. Um, it is so pretty, isn't it? Yes. So I think, can you guys kind of get the idea? I don't know. It looks a little, I can't, I'm pleated. That's the word. <laughs> pleated is the word that I was thinking of because it kind of does this little, right? And then it gets like bigger and longer. So isn't that so cool? And she did it with a couple of different patterns of designer series paper. So this, and that's another fun thing. Our team all, yes, thank you. <laughs> I know, Michelle, thank you. You know, it's like the blanking out, drapery fold. Okay, so Sharon's probably giving us a clue that if you wanna know how she made this card, if you go to Pinterest or YouTube, I'm sure that there are lovely women that have made these cards that uploaded a video or some kind of a tutorial to tell you how to make the drapery fold. Yes, card, so <laughs> love that. So, oh, that's what I was starting to say though, is we also swap. So my team of Inkspired Stampers, um, and it's easier when we have our in-person meetings, um, but even if you're long distance, I do have gals that will mail them to me and then I trade them out for them, swap them for them basically, and mail them back to them. So um, that's another fun um, perk for being an Inkspired Stamper is that you can swap with everybody too. So this was one of our swap cards from Miss Sharon. And then Jamie made this one right here too. And she went with that same, um, I, well, no, this isn't the, this is a different, or wait, is it? Nope, it's funny, because that thank you looks an awful lot. This one just says thank you, right? But she's got the thank you for your kindness. Oh, that's probably with the dragonfly suite, I'm thinking. I, I know I've recognized that. But she used the Paper Blooms Designer Series paper. And I love this. I've been trying to use that um, denim ribbon also with this paper and I haven't been successful yet. So I love that she found a way to incorporate because every time I go to make a card, I pull out like coordinating colors of ribbon, especially because I love ribbon. Um, and so I, I keep pulling that out and then I just never use it. So I love that Jamie was able to use that. So that was another swap card from Miss Jamie Sanders. And then Nancy actually had a couple of different versions. So this is Nancy Gulick. Um, she used some of that Berry Blessings or Berry, whatever it is, Berry Delightful designer series paper. Um, and then she's got the You Always Have a Way of Making My Day sentiment on there. She used one of the new pearls too, pastel pearls. I'm pretty sure those are on back order, but hopefully not for too long because that is actually my free embellishment this month. Um, are those pearls. And then here's another one that she did with more of that um, paper. So lots of beautiful swap cards um, that we received this month. So yes, thank you ladies for swapping. I love that you do that. I'm gonna share your ideas with others. So, okay. Um, 
All right, we already, that's, we talked about the starter kit. Now was the time in my notes when I was gonna talk about the starter kit, but we already did that, so we can move along from that. Um, I think we can do, I'm gonna keep looking around, I think we can do our other drawing. Let me make sure. Yeah, so this drawing is if you put an online order, and I'm putting names in the little basket right now, make sure I have those all in there. Um, I need a quick sip of water, one moment. <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> so if you put an online order in of at least $30, your name is now in the drawing to win this awesome Heal Your Heart stamp set that we're going to use in just a little while, right? You also, for sure, get these two projects that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. You're going to get both of these cards in the mail. If you bumped your order up to $50, you got to pick from the free embellishment for January, which are the pastel pearls, which I'm hoping I have enough ordered because like I said, I think they're on back order now. So if something happens, I'll let you know like if they're going to be a little bit delayed if I run out of them um, for my online order thank yous. But for now, I know I have enough, um, but we'll just have to see um, how that goes. So you can pick either that free embellishment or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. And this was my card. I don't know if I showed you that yet or not. But again, it features that Paper Blooms designer series paper. It's a fun, um, well, it's a fun fold. Woo! How about that, huh? <laughs> so you basically just use um, a quarter of a piece of that's Rococo Rose paper. I won't tell you any more though. Um, you have to get the tutorial to be able to learn exactly how to make that card. Um, but that is featured in here, the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, along with 15 other projects, ladies. So bump your order up to $50 and you get to pick every single month from the tutorial or the free embellishment. <laughs> yes, Nancy. I That paper is so pretty too. I loved the cards that you made also. Yeah. So many, so many good celebration products this year. Okay, so I think we are ready. I've got the names in the basket. We are drawing for the person that's gonna win the Heal Your Heart stamp set um, with their online order of just $30. So, but right now, I don't know why you wouldn't bump it up to $50 because you also get a free celebration item. In addition to either my PDF tutorial, 16 projects, or that free embellishment. It's like a, a no-brainer right now to not bump your order up to over $50. So, okay. Now I gotta make sure I don't use the wrong heel your heart stamp set because one of them is brand new. <laughs> I think that'll be easy enough to figure out though, won't it? And the other one I'm gonna give away too, who is the lucky winner. I've got one in my hand, Miss Monica Talbot. All right, congratulations, Miss Monica. I will be getting the heel your heart stamp set sent out to you. All right, so what are we gonna give away on our next Facebook Live for an online order of just $30? The hearts and kisses stamp set. So this is the set that the lips, the little lip punch that we used, actually I can show you right back here. Okay, so there's the little lip punch on there, punches out the lips on that stamp set, and then that little baby heart. You can see the heart punch right there, punches out that little baby heart there too. Okay, so we have, haha, this is great. So we've got sealed with the kiss, the little XOXO, Happy Valentine's Day, and you go, girl. <laughs> hey, Susan, hello, welcome, and thank you for joining us. So this is what we will give away on our next Facebook Live. Just put your order in of at least $30, and your name will go in the drawing to win this, along with you definitely get the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate in just a little bit. Okay, I'm trying to keep things... The, the organization, right? Oh, you know. Okay, I think we're good. And I feel like we are, I think we're ready to flip the camera down because I have a bunch of slot cards and I was gonna um, show them, but they're always backwards. So we're gonna flip the camera down and I'm gonna show you all my swap cards. I have a bunch from the Celebration brochure and the January to June mini catalog. So we'll just kind of flip through those so you guys can see some more fun project ideas and then we will do some stamping, okay? All right, I'm pretty sure I'm good. So, okay, turn your heads away. <laughs> Hold on, maybe I should clean this up just a little bit here too. Let's see, let's see, let's see, okay. And that's my stamp set, okay? Ooh, I gotta find my grid paper too. Let's see if I have that before I flip it down. I mean, I know I do, but hopefully it's like a, in an easy spot to get to is more so what I should say. And I've got my host code too, which I feel like I haven't shown in a while. So we're gonna do that too. Okay, all right, turn your heads away. We're gonna fly through the air. And 
show you some more fun goodies. Hello, Sue, down in Ohio. How is life in Ohio? I think you guys are more open down there than we are here in Michigan. Hoping that changes soon. We're ready to open back up here too. Okay. All right. So here is our host code for what's this month? This month is January. So the SY2XVNMS, that's the code you want to make sure that you use so that you get your name in the drawing to win the hearts and kisses stamp set. Okay. All right, so let me show you. Let's do the swaps first. Okay, so <clears throat> these are my celebration swaps. We'll just kind of flip through these. Thank you for sharing. Here, maybe I'll pull that if I go up like that. So that's the wishing you the very best. These all feature that very delightful designer series paper. And she actually fussy cut that because we don't have dies for those. So that was a lot of work to make all those swaps fussy cutting. This is a cute one too. It's like a little pocket card that you could make. Isn't that fun, right? And then these feature the other um, flower and field designer series paper. <laughs> this is cute, right? If things really do get better with age, then you're approaching perfection. <laughs> yes, most places are open. That's good to know, Sue. Like I said, I, we're hoping up here in Michigan things can open up here soon as well. Um, I loved this one. We actually made a very similar version of this at card class. This is a beautiful card class last week. Uh, yes. And then this one, wishing I could heal your heart. And I love... Um, the the paper too and then the the um something about the rhinestones with little polka dots in there i thought was really nicely coordinated there right and this is a fun little happy birthday right isn't that cute with our designer series paper these are all awesome aren't they right so you guys might be some seeing some of these or some version of them this is the little donkey man i haven't really used that stamp set yet i've kind of I, I've, I don't know how to use it yet, so it's kind of fun to see some ideas. I'm sure there are lots of them on there now, so I'm going to have to break that one out. I've been playing with other things and just haven't gotten to that one yet. And then look at this little guy. <laughs> Pretty cute, huh? Okay, so those were celebration swaps. And then I have some January to June mini catalog. So here's kind of a fun Valentine card right there, right? With that, some of the new, um, I don't know the names, but that's the new Valentine designer series paper. And then I'm sure that's the Blushing Bride ribbon. Hey, Barb, how are you? Um, let's see. Actually, Carol, or Barb, I did not do Carol's swap this time. I did um, like a Stampin' Up! Trip Achievers swap. I've been participating in that one lately. So basically anyone that um, earned the Maui trip, I guess, can, you know, is on that Facebook group or something. So yeah, that's where I got those. But yeah, swaps are always great, aren't they, right? And this one, so this is the um, bundle that I think I'm going to use for my February class to go, the Hydrangea stamp set and dies and then the designer series paper. And look at that beautiful ribbon. Isn't this so pretty? Lillian, hello and welcome. Yeah, there's something about, I don't know, the blues and the purples that I'm really, like, really, really, really enjoying right now. So, okay. Then we have, ha ha, this is cute, right? Sending crocodile kisses. I like that one, too. And that cute little um, heart with the bow on it there, too. And then how about um, my dad and his wife are out in Arizona right now. So this totally makes me think of Arizona, this suite of products, right? I love how our friendship has grown. That's a great sentiment, right? And I love, there's something about that paper and the little cactus. Super cute, huh? And here's another one. Life can get kind of prickly. That's cute. So this is a prickly pear. If you don't know, that's the name of that um, uh, cactus, the prickly pear. So super cute, huh? And I love that embossing too. I don't have any of these products yet, but I'm feeling like maybe I might need them. Maybe to make some cards for my dad and his wife, like birthday cards and so on. They both love Arizona. So that is a very Arizona looking theme, I think, right? Thank you for your kindness. And then with some of, ooh, actually that's the new embossing folder. And it looks like maybe I wonder, I don't know if that's paper that she, designer series paper, it might be designer series paper, either that or she stamped on that too, but isn't that so pretty? Love that, right? And then this one's cute, huh? Hot dog, it's your birthday. <laughs> With the little buddy bringing the card to his other little buddy, right? So, so cute. This one goes this way, right? Ooh, yeah, so check out, do you see the shimmeriness of that ribbon? So this is some of the Valentine designer series paper, not the specialty paper that was used back on that card but the regular there's black and white and then look at that ribbon 
Isn't that awesome? It's like a shimmery blushing bride ribbon. This one's really pretty too. Like I think these are the succulents. I love those too, right? I want to grow more of them. I think that would be neat. I did um, at my last house and I haven't done it uh, at this house yet. So I'm gonna have to look into that this summer. Uh, kind people are my kind of people. I love that sentiment. So cute. All right, here's a fun. Soar confidently in your own sky. Ooh, that's an awesome sentiment too, right? And then we got a happy Father's Day. How cute is that? We'll be thinking about that. Hopefully sooner than later because that means summer is here, right? These are actually a couple of make and takes way back in November from On Stage featuring the um, Dragonfly Bundle. I can't remember the exact name of it. Um, but look at, oh, we used the cute little ladybug embellishments too. Can you guys see? Super duper cute. Um, and then my favorite, one of my favorite sweets. Ooh, maybe I could do my class to go with this stuff too. We'll have to see. Now I forgot about this one also. I, uh, those cute little, <laughs> can you guys see the little, little sprinkles shaking around in there, right? With this little ice cream sweet. We've got that one. The, the paper's so cute and the dies. Ooh, they use the little hearts too. That's what we're giving away. Can you guys see? Sorry, I get so excited. I'm looking at it and I'm not even sure that it's in the camera. Those are the little hearts that we're gonna give away for sharing the video. Next, Facebook Live. And then here's another one. Happy birthday, you sweet thing. So Lori, if you're still watching, we made a card with this last week at um, Simple Beautiful Card Class. And she was like, I don't know, who would I send a card to that says happy birthday, you sweet thing? And Lori's kind of sassy, if you don't know Lori. I'm like, I think many people would um, appreciate getting a card from you that said happy birthday, you sweet thing. <laughs> so I think it's a cute sentiment. And then another fun little happy birthday one right there too. So great, great, great cards. So don't remember these too well though, because you might see some version of them um, on a future Facebook Live uh, make and take kind of project. We'll see, who knows? I love, sorry, I'm moving those. I can move those out of the way. I don't have enough room on my table, so I had to go put them on another counter. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, Lori, you saucy thing. <laughs> so we, she says, okay, so let me show you. I got a couple more things that I want to show you. Um, cards. I shared these on our Facebook Live, but these are all. Can you guys, I'll, I'll hold them up a little bit too. But this is to get you some more inspiration for our Paper Blooms Designer Series paper, right, from the Celebration Catalog, our product of the week, along with the Heal Your Heart stamp set. So now you can see it and it's not backwards, right? So we're gonna make some fun projects in just a moment, but I wanted to show you. So this was actually another swap that, um, <laughs> yes, that's why we swap so we can get all these great ideas and then use them. For example, this was another card we made at our Simple Beautiful card class. I love using my swap cards because why not, right? There are, I made one card and then I got um, 16 different cards, 15 or 16 different cards back. Um, and so it's a great way to get lots of ideas and then use them in classes, right? So this is another fun one I loved. And I loved how they used that Baker's Twine too with the, um, actually, I think it's Misty Moonlight, but but I think it works really well with the navy and the seaside spray on there too. So, and then the um, pearls, love those pearls, right? So there's that one. Here's a little thank you. And she used the um, embossing folder. I can't remember if that one is still really around or not. We're supposed to use current products and I'm kind of questioning. I can't remember, honestly, but it's still beautiful. You could use a different embossing folder if we don't have that one with the one of the pearls. And then that's some of the new Baker's Twine that's in the January to June mini catalog. And then how about this one? A little thinking of you. And I'm sure it's kind of a fun fold. I've got it in the, um, the clear envelope, but I'm sure this opens each way. And look at the beautifulness. And this works great too. Oh, thanks Barb. It is still current. Okay, mine is buried because I haven't seen it in a really long time. I love that. I think it was like the scripty or something. Good. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad it's still available. Now I want to go use it. Um, yeah, but I love how she coordinated this little hummingbird um, stamp set um, with this designer series paper. I think that works really well together. And then lastly, we have the Sorry for Your Loss, which again, this one works really well with that hummingbird too. So great cards featuring, some of them are Heal Your Heart stamp set and the Paper Blooms Designer Series paper. And then I just have to show you, this was the little treat that I made. So, um, oop, it's coming apart a little bit. 
I'll have to fix that. Um, anyway, so I used the little Hershey nuggets and then just wrapped them with some designer series paper, put that little just for you tag on top there in a little cello bag. So I love spoiling my club members. Every single month, if you are in the Simple Beautiful Card Club, in the Scrapbook Club, or the Class To Go Club, meaning you wanna get one of those kits sent to you every single month, uh, club is a 12 month commitment. I always make cute little treats for you every single month. You also get $30 in host benefits the one month that you are the host of club. So you get free stuff too, basically for stamping with me every single month. So if you're ever interested in joining any of those clubs, again, Simple Beautiful Card Club, Scrapbook Club, or the Class To Go Club, you can join at any time. People are kind of coming and going all the time. So there's never a, it starts here and ends here. It starts whatever month you want to start. And then 12 months later, it's done and if you re-up like actually Philomena just did in the class to go club you get another $15 in free product just for re-signing up or rejoining a club so lots of great benefits um, for joining a club basically it's something fun that you either put on your calendar once a month and come hang out with me and play and make cards scrapbook pages or once a month you get a cute little kit mailed to you and you get to make fun projects and you can with the class to go club you can pick option number one or option number two so even if you're a demonstrator you can still do my club just do option number two get your stamp set and dies or whatever um, through your own demo i need to get your discount and then you can get the class to go with all the other product and the pdf tutorial that you need to put your cards together okay if you have any questions on any of those um, club options let me know because i love to get new club members signed up um okay i think have we showed i think we've showed everything and I have talked a lot today, haven't I, ladies? Okay, so we are ready to make our cards. Too many notes, but I think I'm good. Okay, so I just need to grab some grid paper. We'll just scoot that up and out of the way for now. All right, let me make sure. I'm gonna get this in view so I know what I'm doing. Okay, I need some more water. It's that time of year. Okay, so our first card is this one right here. So we've got the We're In This Together, that great sentiment. And then I kind of copycatted off of that swap card because I loved using that little baker's twine on this card or on her card. So I was like, okay, we got to use it on this one too. Okay, so let me tell you. Um, oh, I have to show you guys the pearls too because I am totally in love with the pastel pearls. Like I said, they might be on back order, but they'll be in soon enough. So they come in kind of a pale pink, might be um, petal pink. I'm going to say, why am I drawing a name or blank on all of my, the names and my colors? Um, this is Highland Heather. This one is almost like a white or silver. I'm not even sure what they call that. And I'm going to say this one, they're going to call Gorgeous Grape, but a beautiful set of pearls, right? And you can't even see the pink pearls when you're looking at them, but they work really well with this paper also. Okay, so let's see here. <clears throat> okay, so. We have, I'll give you measurements and then we'll do our stamping and so on. So we started with a, oh, Miss Lisa, hello. <laughs> oh, forgot about the time change. So you must be not in Eastern time zone. I can't remember where you are, but I'm so glad that you found us and that you're able to join us. So welcome, welcome. All right, I make paper look super crooked, but I think we're good now. Okay, so we have Rococo Rose cardstock. This is a full sheet of the eight and a half by 11 cardstock, right? We cut it in half at five and a half inches, right? And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So just the super simple card base. Uh, oops, as I'm flinging that around. No fun folds today, ladies. Uh, you know, I exhausted my supply of fun fold ideas, I think, for a little bit. Uh, but we still have beautiful cards, I think, because this paper, Wisconsin. Okay, yep, so you're in the central time zone then. Well, welcome, welcome from Wisconsin, Miss Lisa. Okay, so this piece of designer series paper is two inches by five and a quarter inches. And while I'm thinking about it, because I always think of these at random times, right? All of the um, dimensions, the names of all of the products, the item codes, everything that we are using to make these cards, the colors, um, will be on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, so gatheringinspiration.com. That'll be this afternoon after I get everything uploaded for you. So if you, you know, take notes now if you want, or come back, um, watch the video, or check out my um, blog at gatheringinspiration.com, and I'll give you everything you need to know along with the um, 
um, what's that called? The host code. If you want to put an order in and get any of this stuff so you can make these fun projects too. Okay. Knight of Navy paper. This is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then we have our little paper blooms designer series paper piece that measures three inches, oops, by four inches. And we've got Charlotte. Hello. Good morning from Huntington Beach, California. Awesome. I'm sure it's much more lovely <laughs> in Huntington Beach than it is here in Michigan right now. So welcome. Can you send us some warm weather your <laughs> our way, please? All right. So that's just going to fit right inside there. And then I just have a piece of basic white cardstock um, that we're going to do our stamping and die cutting. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So we have... We're using that Heal Your Heart stamp set and this first sentiment, right? We're in this together. So you guys can see them a little bit better because they were backwards before, right? Those are tiny maybe to go on the inside or just a little, um, add a little something. But I love this. Wishing I could heal your heart. I love that sentiment. And then the thank you. And unfortunately, that sorry for your loss that is a needed sentiment sometimes. Okay, so we are using Rococo Rose ink because of course it matches our Rococo Rose cardstock and there are little bits of Rococo Rose um, in the designer series paper as well. Okay, so it doesn't even really matter if I stamp it upside down. Always, ladies, when you are stamping, and I forget to even mention this, and then I go to class and I'm like, whoa, because people are pushing like with all their might. You do not have to do that. Nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. When you do that, all you do is you get ink all over places. You don't even need ink, okay? These are super juicy. If they're not, get your ink refill out and add some more ink. So just easy tap, tap, tap. Press straight down. Sometimes they'll kind of rub on there to make sure all the ink comes off. That's it. That's all you got to do. Okay. Nice, easy tap, 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 and then press straight down and lift straight up and you're good. Okay. So now let's do our die cutting. Okay. I think we're good here. Got my, I say new because it still feels really new to me, my new stamp and cut and emboss machine. And got that right there. So we are using, these are the Tasteful Labels dies, and we're actually gonna use this die right here. So you can see all of these. I think that one fit right on there. The other one we're gonna use on the next card, but you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then there's one more. So 10 um, label dies in this set. This is an awesome set of dies. If you do not have this one yet, I would highly recommend getting it. I use it all the time, no exaggeration on that. It's like one of the first ones I go to, which I guess, you know, if everybody has it, I probably start to start using <laughs> something else. Um, so you guys can see some other ideas. But you know what's catching my eye, actually, is this little one right here with that little scallopy edge is what I used for that little. You see that just for you. So can if I kind of zoom in, you guys maybe can see it a little bit better. So it does the scallop along with a little stitching around there too. I don't know if you kids can see that, but that's that larger circle one right there. And the smaller one does something similar, just smaller size. Okay, so I think we can just scoot this guy right out of the way. Okay, so and then this one um, kind of does a little embossing around the edge too. I don't know if you can see that, right? Okay, I think we are ready and let's put our card together. So this is a simple card. You guys know me. I am simple, 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 simple. Don't like to make things too complicated. I already have my adhesive. I'm like looking for it, trying to figure out where it is. And you guys know this, right? When you're using your stamp and seal, it's a little futzy. Stampin' up if you're listening. I think we need to do something to make it not quite so futzy. But if it doesn't run, just put your finger on it and roll it forward. It is sticky right now, but until you feel it sticky again, okay? All right, so we're gonna put this piece just right along the edge right here. And you guys see how because I, it's funny, I forget because we haven't had a, like a live in-person class in so long, but I generally just put adhesive, you guys can see what I'm doing, in kind of the four corners. I don't ever run it right through the middle, and I don't ever use like a huge run of it either. This stuff is so sticky that you don't need to use that much adhesive. You will also notice that I use a little flick of my wrist, maybe turn, just to make this... Um, kind of break the adhesive and I think that helps. I'm glad I'm seeing this before I actually put it on because we're going to tie our, <laughs> let's see, where's my, this is what we're going to do. 
So here's a trick. When you put adhesive on there already, because I was going to put that right on my card, and then I realized, no, 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 Amy, you need your baker's twine on there first. So if you lay this on your little silicone mat, um, it won't really stick to it. So we're going to do that. So we can get our, oops, our bow made here. And actually, maybe it's kind of a good thing that I put adhesive. It's almost like maybe it's sticking a little bit, but it's kind of holding everything in place. So it's really easy to make my bow too. Okay, so we will trim that off right there. There we go. So did it stick? It did a little bit, but not really, because it's not, it didn't actually like stick. Like it would have stuck right on my grid paper and been a big pain in the butt to get back off. But we are good. So let's see if I put that one maybe right about there. And then we're just gonna lay this. Hello, Charlene, welcome. I'm glad you can hang out with us today. Okay, so we've got that one right there. And then we're just gonna put some dimensionals behind our sentiment. Okay, and just pop this right on there. Yes, the colors are beautiful, aren't they, Philomena? They really did like hit the ball out of the park, I think. Um, on these, I'm trying to decide because all my flowers are down at the bottom. Where do I want? Where do I want my sentiment? I want to cover up that pretty pink flower. Maybe if I do, that looks good. Some that's kind of framing. There. Okay. Got to get that dimensional out of the way. So then the last thing that we need are our pearls, and I just put a couple of them. Let's see if I can use my paper snips is what I like to use. So if I dig right underneath there, then I get the um, glue dot that is behind um, the little pearl. Okay. And that's not quite where I want it. And I didn't press too hard, so I should be able to move it and get it where I want it and then press down firmly. So there we go. Card number one. Beautiful. Yes, Philomena. Beautiful, beautiful colors in that pack of paper. Love that designer series paper. Okay, so first card, let me show you guys the next one. And I think you are not gonna be able to live without, right, the Paper Blooms Designer Series paper. So you could order, um, you know, even basics. If you need white cardstock or envelopes or you need some new adhesive, you can even order basics and then get to $50 in product and you can get the Designer Series paper for free or, the Heal Your Heart stamp set for free as well, okay? So celebration is a great time even just to stock up on the basics too. Okay, so let me show you guys the next card we are going to make. So we've got this wishing I could heal your heart. Love that sentiment. And then actually I love using the dragonfly too and then a couple of the um, pearls on there also. And then this is a tall card, so it's gonna flip up like that. So let me give you some more details on that one. Let's see. Okay, I'm getting a little bit cold now, ladies. I, want, I wanted you guys to see my new hail t-shirt, and now I really wanna go find my sweatshirt <laughs> and put it on. So right after we're done with Facebook Live, I will be going to find my sweatshirt, because I'm cold now. It is, my, it is my Michigan sweatshirt, though, so it looks very similar. They, I couldn't find one that said hail in a sweatshirt, so I had to get a short sleeve t-shirt, which you can't really wear short sleeve t-shirts in Michigan in the winter. It's just not warm enough. Okay, so here we go. Petal pink cardstock. Again, everything that you need to know about making these cards will be on my blog. Lori, I'm not even paying attention to your go green. <laughs> go blue, Lori. <laughs> All right, you know, it's a state of Michigan rivalry thing. We just can't stop it, can we? Okay, so petal pink cardstock. Along This time we went along the eight and a half inch side. We cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then the, along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches, okay? So there's our nice crisp fold on our card. I always have to score my cards. I still am in awe of people that don't have to score them. I don't know how they get them folded nicely. You guys are probably all really good at it. I've just never mastered it. Knight of Navy cardstock, three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And then the paper blooms. I love, this is one of my favorite patterns of paper tool. <laughs> you're not really a brat, Lori. You're, you're pretty hilarious, actually. And thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you like this card. So did I go, we'll go this way, because I think that's what I did with the other one. So this one is three and three quarters by five inches. So that's just going to layer. You can see we've just got a little eighth of an inch. So just a little peak of that navy behind there. And then I have, this is just a basic white cardstock for our sentiment and our die cutting. And then another little strip of Knight of Navy cardstock that measures one inch by three and seven eighths. And that's just gonna 
fit right over there like that. And then we have some of the Dragonfly Designer Series paper. I cannot remember the official name of it, but I loved this idea. We, we made um, one of our swap cards that we made, um, make and takes actually for on stage. They showed us, you know, that this punch would punch out. Here we go. There are all of the, this one maybe shows a few more. Uh, obviously, I've already punched <laughs> a couple of these little babies out. There was another card that we made that I think we wanted the yellow dragonflies. So now I want the blue ones. So I have a couple of extra pieces there too in case I need them for other cards. Um, but this one right here, so we'll, let's just do that right now while we're talking about it. So this just fits. I tried to give myself like a little lever, a little end here to work with. So we're just going to put that... Okay, there we go, and punch him out. Isn't that great? Can you guys see there, if I put it up there? Punches perfectly, okay. So again, another simple card. We're just gonna do a little bit of stamping right on here. Oh, I need Knight of Navy. Oh, I do have that. I was thinking I I had it somewhere else, but shoo, it is right here. Okay, so we have Knight of Navy ink, of course, again, matches our Knight of Navy cardstock that's also in our designer series paper, and then our ink right there. The coordination, it is key, absolutely. Okay, nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. Do not push hard, you do not ink, need ink all over your clear block. It just makes a big mess, basically, it's all it does. Put that right there, okay. Hopefully that's a big enough piece. I don't think I gave myself much room for error on, on that one. Hopefully that's gonna be all right. And again, so this one is another one of our tasteful label dies. We're just gonna put that. I think I'll be able to make it work right on there, and we'll do our die cutting. Okay. <clears throat> so you can see, though, I always say, you know, I'm kind of a simple card maker, but you don't have to go crazy. You can, certainly, if you want, and you have lots of time and the inclination, um, but if you don't have lots of time or you're not so inclined to, you know, put lots of um, detail and kind of steps into your card, you can make beautiful cards that are simple um, as well. Not as time consuming maybe, but so, you know, it all depends on what you're looking for. But check this one out again. I'll show you. The, it does a little bit of, um, it's very subtle. Can you guys see it? There's a little bit of embossing around the edge and I love that shape too. I think that's beautiful. Okay, so once again, ladies, we are ready to put our card together. So we're gonna grab our adhesive, and this one doesn't even have any ribbon on it, which is very unusual for me. Again, you can see how I'm just doing some pretty good strips, but only in the four corners. That's really all you need. My cards do not fall apart. I was trying to decide which way was top. I think I think this way is going the right direction. So you can use a lot of adhesive, but then you just go through a lot of adhesive and you don't necessarily need to. So I'm doing a, a good run there because now I've got two layers on here. But, and I again, I just don't ever, I don't know why, I don't put it through the middle. I think sometimes it's helpful if you do have to pick your, this piece up and move it. If you don't have adhesive all over um, the inside, it's easier to just kind of peel back the corners. Okay, so now we are gonna add our strip of Knight of Navy cardstock trying to, so sometimes I'll do this too, or if I want it to look exactly like that one, I'll kind of line them up so I can see where I put that. And then we'll put some dimensionals behind this little guy. So my dogs have been pretty barky lately. Um, Leo is getting older. I don't know if he's more like scared. He hears more things going on. I don't know, but he's been pretty barky lately and I was so worried. I've probably completely jinxed myself, but I was so worried that they were gonna be super barky today while we were on Facebook Live and so far that has not been the case. So I should probably just not even have really said anything. We're almost done though, so I think maybe we've made it. I just put a little dimensional behind my dragonfly right there. Gonna add him on and then we just need a couple more pearls, ladies because I love these beautiful pearls and those dimensional backings. Aren't those always like everywhere? All right, I'm just peeling this off because I think it's easier. Okay, so we're gonna do one, maybe put one pink one right about there. And then I love these kind of silvery, maybe they're blue, maybe they're supposed to be a pale blue, maybe seaside spray, I don't know. I'm sure they say in the catalog and I just haven't 
If I looked, I can't remember. <laughs> I probably did look. Now that I'm saying that, I probably did. I just can't remember now. So, okay, ladies, I think we did it. I think we made it. All right, I didn't do too bad for time. I was thinking it was going to be a lot longer. So, okay, quick recap, just so everybody knows what's going on here, right? So we have, here we go. Put an online order in of at least $30, and you will get one of each of these cards that I made on Facebook Live today, and your name goes in the drawing to win this Hearts and Kisses stamp set. Now you guys can see it because I think it was backwards before. Now I'm like, do I really want to give this one away? I, I might have to get another one for myself because it's so cute. Make sure you use the host code, right? The SY, oops, sorry, my finger. It feels like it's super bouncy today. The SY2XVNMS. Make sure you use that host code. It's always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. And I will include it in like the top of this video, the, the links and details. It'll be in there too, right? If you bump your order up to $50, though, remember, ladies, you get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team, the 16 Project Tutorial, or the free embellishment this month. And you get a celebration choice too. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I see someone saying, I hope I have a good weekend and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend as well. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. It was fun to be back. I have missed doing Facebook Live. So thanks guys. Have a great weekend and we will see you on the next Facebook Live. Bye everybody.